Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sing Along Jam. My name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries. This is my daughter, Lily, who is hiding in our ficus tree, whose name is Bob. And this is our bunny rabbit, Elsa, who's currently sniffing a container of raisins. But there, there she goes. She loves raisins. <laughs> Lily's trying to get her to eat a flower. Yeah. Well, you want to see her little nose? Can you wiggle your nose? Oh, you can put that down for now. Can you wiggle your nose like an Elsa rabbit? She's a little camera shy, so I'm going to let her go. I'm going to hand her to Lily. If I can. Let me say bye bye to Elsa. There she goes. Bye bye. <laughs> and it's time to gather up our supplies. I'm all covered in rabbit hair now. Um, so before we get started, if you can go gather up uh, some kind of cloth, the same as usual. Uh, could be a wash cloth, a dish rag, a um, paper towel, a blanket, something you can crumple and throw in the air, put on your head. That's for our scarf songs that we're going to do in a little bit. And also some kind of an instrument. It doesn't have to be a fancy instrument. It can be anything in your house that you can make noise with. So a fun thing is a cup and a pencil or two cups that you bring together or a box or something to shake like keys. Just about anything in your house. Use your imagination. Play around with different sounds. And that's how we got all the instruments that we have in the world of people playing around with different uh, things that make noise. And so that's what we're going to do for our play along at the very end. It's time for our first song, which is called We Bounce, We Bounce, and We Stop. Are you ready? Pretend you're a bunny rabbit. With very strong legs so they can hop really far. Let's see how far you can hop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. Good job. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Can you wiggle your nose like the rabbit? We wiggle our nose and we stop. We wiggle our nose and we stop. We wiggle our nose and we wiggle our nose and we wiggle our nose and we stop. Good job. Can you nod your head? We nod and we nod and we stop. We nod and we nod and we stop. We nod and 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 we stop. Now you shake your head from side to side. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and 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 we stop. Can you roll your shoulders? I don't know if I can do that and play, but I'll do my best. We roll and we roll and we stop. We roll and we roll and we stop. We roll and 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 we stop. That's really tricky. Can you roll the other way? We roll and we roll and we stop. We roll and we roll and we stop. We roll and 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 we stop. That is really hard. Now let's tickle. We tickle and we tickle and we stop. We tickle and we tickle and we stop. We tickle and 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 we stop. And we always Follow up our tickle with a hug. You hug yourself or your grown up, your dog, your stuffed animal. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we stop. And now let's bounce one more time really high. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Yay! All right, today's books and songs are mostly about rats and mice today um, because it's uh, Asian Pacific Heritage Month and this year in the Chinese Zodiac it's the year of the rat. Uh, the Chinese New Year started on January 25th and everyone born in this year is part of the year of the rat. And rats are very clever animals. So we're gonna do lots of stories and songs about them. My first song though, 
It has little field mice in it, but it's mostly about a rabbit, which is why I showed you Elsa today. This is a puppet rabbit who's a little more cooperative than Elsa. But in this case, this bunny is little bunny Foo-Foo, who's super naughty, aren't you? Yes, he is. He's going to scoop up some field mice like this and pop them on the head. Isn't that mean? But then he's going to get in trouble with the fairy who's going to, well, I won't tell you what happens. You'll figure it out. Here we go. You can make a bunny out of two fingers, like bunny ears. We're going to hop up and down. Here we go. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Here comes the good fairy. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you three chances. And if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Oh boy, do you think that worked? The next day, little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you two more chances and if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. The next day, little bunny foo foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you one more chance. And if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. The next day, Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I gave you three chances and you didn't stop. So now I'm going to turn you into a goon. All right, everybody got your magic wand? We're going to one, two, three, abracadabra, poof! And that's just what she did. And the moral of this story is hair today, goon tomorrow. Yay. Did you learn your lesson, little bunny foo foo? Nope, I didn't think so. You'll have to imagine what a goon is. I don't really know. All right, it's time for our first book, which is about a big rat with a big heart. And this is the sign for rat. We can curl your two fingers together and rub them on your nose. That's the sign for rat in sign language. This one is actually in English and Chinese. It's called Big Rat with a Big Heart, written and illustrated by Jesse Luo and it's published by Blurb Inc. This is from our ebook collection called Overdrive. So you can check it out there. So you see the Chinese text underneath the English here, if you could read Chinese, which I wish I could. In a forest outside of the city lived Rutherford the rat. Rutherford was a kind, gentle rat who loved to help others. Doesn't he look very nice? And he was huge. Look how big he is. He's taller than the trees even. The animals stayed far away from him. They thought he was a scary troublemaker and a clumsy animal. That means he trips on things a lot or steps on things. One day by the river, Rutherford passed a beaver whose dam had fallen apart. See how the river's running through it? 
Rutherford tried to help him pick up the sticks with his large paws. He clumsily knocked down more of the dam instead. The frustrated beaver swam away in a hurry. Along his way, Rutherford passed a fox trying to reach an apple up in the tree. Can you reach up like you're trying to grab an apple from the tree? Determined not to make a mess this time, he eagerly hurried over. His stomps shook the ground. Can you stomp really loudly? Branches and leaves fell and all the apples came tumbling down. Frightened, the fox ran away. He decided to go home, but he spotted a hungry looking black bear watching a mother rabbit and her baby. See her little baby right there? And there's the bear. Rutherford tried to warn them, but as soon as the rabbits and black bear saw he, how huge he was, they all raced away. Can you race away? Rutherford was left alone and sad. However, all the animals discovered something new. The beaver swam back and saw that Rutherford had fixed his dam. See, it's all fixed. The fox came back and saw that Rutherford had collected all the good apples for him. Oops. The rabbits came back to find the black bear's paw prints. They realized Rutherford was trying to warn them all along. They realized just because he was an enormous rat didn't mean he was scary or a troublemaker. Each animal apologized and told him he had the biggest, kindest heart. From then on, Rutherford was always there for his friends and they were always there for him. See them all sleeping on top of Rutherford the rat. The end. And that's big rat with a big heart. Okay, it's time for our scarf song, our first one. So gather up your cloth, whatever you found. This is Hickory Dickory Dock, which is a rhyme that you might know. So we're going to make our, our cloth that goes like this when, when it's the clock, and then it's going to be the little mouse running off the clock. It's kind of tickly. Here we go. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. Eek! The clock struck one, bong. The mouse ran down, eek. Hickory dickory dock. Now it's gonna, the clock's gonna strike two and the mouse is gonna go, boop. And you do that? Here we go. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, bong, bong. The mouse went, boop. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck three. Bong, bong, bong. The mouse went wee! Hickory dickory dock. Yay! Okay, our next song really has nothing to do with mice or rats, but I got one of these today, so I had to do this song. This, this song is called Green Zucchini, and this is a green zucchini, which is a food that I like to eat. You can slice it up and fry it in some oil or uh, grill it or put it with some pasta. It's yummy. So can you make a green zucchini with your cloth? You can kind of roll it, or you can even kind of bunch it up in your hand like a green zucchini. This one goes like this. Green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini's what I like the best. Do you like it on your head? Yes, I like it on my head, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini's what I like the best. Do you like it on your shoulder? Yes, I like it on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my head, on my head. Oh, 
Green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your knee? Yes, I like it on my knee, on my knee, on my knee, on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it on your toe? Yes, I like it on my toe, on my toe, on my toe, on my knee, on my knee, on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my head, on my head. Oh, let's do that all again. I'm going to actually use my green zucchini just to be very, very silly. Here you go. Green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Do you like it? on your toe. Yes, I like it on my toe, on my toe, on my toe, on my knee, on my knee, on my shoulder, on my shoulder, on my head, on my head. Oh, green zucchini, I like green zucchini. Green zucchini is what I like the best. Yay. You can sing that song at home and use a uh, different kind of food, you could do yellow bananas. I like yellow bananas. Or something silly, purple apples, uh, pink and purple raspberries. Make up your own version. That's one of the best ways to play along with language. It will help build your vocabulary. It will help you read later on when you go to school. So playing the song is one of the best things you can do. Time for our last book, which is called Mouse paint. And I forgot to show you the sign for mouse. It's just like the sign for rat, except you just use your one finger and you rub it on your nose like this. Mouse. Mouse paint. This is by Ellen Stoll Walsh um, and it's published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt and it's this is from Hoopla, one of our other ebook databases. Mouse paint. Here we go. Get those little footprints, all different colors. And the yellow mouse. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. So they blend right in. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. Don't those look like fun? The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. Can you do a little dance? Just don't put paint on the floor and dance in it because your parents will never forgive me. <laughs> His red feet stirred the yellow puddle. Can you stir with your feet until... Look, he cried. Red feet and a yellow puddle make orange. See that? The red and the yellow made orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue petal. Can you hop? What color do you think that's gonna make? His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed. Are you mixing with your feet? Until, look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue petal make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. Can you jump into a puddle? He splashed and mixed and danced until... Purple! They all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. This isn't the purplest of purples, but that's something you can play around with at home. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. Ew. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white with their taking a bath in the cat water and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. 
They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part, yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. The cat can't see them. And that was Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Walsh. Okay. Well, it's time for our instrument play along. So find out, find whatever instruments you found around the house. This is a song called Rainbow Round Me. And it goes like this. When I look outside my window, there's a world of color I see. Fiddle dee dee outside my window, there's a world of color I see. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. Well, I'm standing next to a window, and when I look out there, I see green grass. Actually, green weeds, but I'm going to call it grass. And the grass outside my window is green as green can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window is as green as green can be. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. I also have some pretty orange flowers out there. They look like this. This is a kind of flower called a nasturtium. Elsa actually likes to eat those. And I have lots of them all in the backyard. And the flowers outside my window, or as orange as orange can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window, as orange as orange can be. And the grass is green as green can be. Rainbow, rainbow. something you can do at home. And that mouse book made me think about mixing colors, which is a really fun thing to do. But sometimes grown-ups don't like us to play with paint because it gets so messy, especially finger paint. So there's a way to do mixing of paints and colors without making a mess, and that is painting in a bag. So if you have a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, preferably, and some paint. I have paint. I'm going to show you an alternative in case you don't have paint, but here's my plastic bag. I have some blue paint. I'm going to squirt it in there. You blue in there. This is some red. Ooh, fun. I'm going to shake up this blue because it's a little funny. Get a little 
more blue. That's better. And do you remember what blue and red made in our mouse book? If I zip up the bag, I can mix these colors together in the bag and I don't get any paint on my hands which is awesome and it just feels kind of fun to squish it around and it will indeed make purple I don't know if you can see that the light's a little funny in my on my computer but you can try another experiment you can mix some yellow Yellow. Do you remember what color yellow and blue make? Let's try some blue. And I'll mix them together and seal up my bag. Maybe this one will work a little better. And yellow and blue make green. You see? So it's really fun to squish this around. You could even put it against a piece of paper. leave your bag sealed but you can put you can kind of draw in paint and squish it around you'll show up a little better against the white paper if you don't have paint at home another thing you can do is get some glue white glue and put it in a bag like this Oh, glue is kind of fun to play with. If you ever let white glue dry on your fingers and it peels off, that's something Lily likes to do. So I white glue and then I can add food coloring to it. Some people don't have paint but they might have food coloring lying around. So there's some yellow. Or you can use spices or you can even mash up a flower. There's lots of ways to make paint in your house and you can use there we go so we got our yellow and blue blue coloring mixed with the glue and we can mix it together that feels really good on your fingers very satisfying and you could wash out these bags and do it again so that's a fun way to paint when you're Grown-ups don't really want to deal with cleaning up paint all over your fingers and your tables and everything else. Okay, well that's all the time we have, so let's do our last song, which as usual is Freight Train, which was written by Elizabeth Cotton, and the version that we're singing is by Elizabeth Mitchell. We can take our imaginary train wherever we want to go. Are you ready? <laughs> Maggie and Ellie today because Maggie just sent me a picture really nice going to see Ellie and Maggie going so fast going to see Ellie and Maggie going so fast please don't tell a train I'm on so they won't know where I've gone I'm also going to go see my friend Maddie right here in the Pacifica going to the Maddie's house see lots of different colored flowers like this one. Going to a garden, going so fast. Going to a garden, going so fast. Please don't tell a train I'm on so they won't know where I've gone. Let's see, where else can we see lots of different colors? Maybe at the zoo we can see the animals with different stripes.
thank you so much for joining us today with the Sing Along Jam. I hope you take these songs and ideas and use them in your house with your family. And I also hope you'll come back tomorrow at 1030 for Family Storytime with Michelle right here on smcl.org. I'll see you next time. Have a good afternoon.